Hello, welcome to the Friday, October 19th, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from McLean, Virginia. Cisco today released patches for 15 different vulnerabilities with a heavy focus on wireless. Most of these vulnerabilities affect the Cisco wireless LAN controller and what's being fixed here are a number of web application vulnerabilities. Nothing super critical here. There are some directory traversal vulnerabilities and information disclosure vulnerabilities that may be used to actually take advantage of other vulnerabilities that have been discovered in the past. Also, there are a number of denial of service vulnerabilities that are being addressed, for example, against some of the Cisco access points. I don't see anything here that would warrant super fast patching, so just apply your standard patch procedure to these updates. With all the attention that cryptocurrencies have received in the last couple of years, we of course also had about a year ago, or so a big rush into new crypto coins that were being released. Problem here, of course, is that many of these crypto coins really never caught on, never really got a following, which does allow now for some 51% attacks against these crypto coins with rather limited means. A 51% attack refers to an attack where a single entity does actually get a hold of more than 50% of the total mining capacity for a particular coin. And with that, this particular miner can then take control of that coin's blockchain. An individual who goes by the name of Geo Cold uh, did launch such an attack now against Bitcoin Private. Not to be confused with the mainstream Bitcoin, but instead Bitcoin Private is sort of a fork of the entire Bitcoin idea. Initially, Geo Cold planned to live stream the attack. That didn't work out because multiple live streaming platforms banned him. But at this point, he has about 70% of the Bitcoin Private mining infrastructure and he's going to release a video of the attack later on. Not 100% sure what you'll see in a video of a 51% attack, but I guess we'll know once the video is live. The lesson learned here is in some ways that blockchains really only work if you have a rather diverse mining infrastructure. And if this infrastructure is large enough where it wouldn't actually be feasible for one individual to all of a sudden acquire 51% or more of that infrastructure. Geocold claims to have about $800 invested in this attack. And VMware released an update for several of its products, ESXi, VMware Workstation, and VMware Fusion. This update fixes a vulnerability that could be used for virtual machine escape. Now, not affected are the very latest version of VMware Fusion and Workstation. That would be Fusion 11 and Workstation 15. Both products were just recently released. So likely this particular update was already included with the original release of these products. As very typical for these kind of vulnerabilities, the root cause here is within the driver that actually connects to the VGA port. Whenever you have these drivers that connect shared hardware to virtual machines, you have a potential for actual virtual machine escape. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening. And as usual, if you like this podcast, please leave good comments at your favorite podcast site. And by the way, if anybody still has issues with this podcast via Google Play, please let me know. Thanks and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.